Good morning. I would like to welcome you all, Excellencies, Madam Deputy Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, to the commemorative event for the victims of the Easter Sunday attacks in Sri Lanka, which my office has co-organized with the permanent mission of Sri Lanka. This event is intended not only to express condolences to the government and people of Sri Lanka, but also to reflect on how to strengthen our cooperation in the fight against terrorism and violent extremism. I would like now to deliver my opening remarks. Your Excellency, Dr. Rohan Pereira, Permanent Representative of Sri Lanka to the United Nations, Madam Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Ahyu Bovan, Badnam Khan. It is with profound sadness that I join with the Sri Lankan mission to the United Nations to commemorate the horrific attack that took place in Batikaloa, Colombo, and Negombo on Easter Sunday, 21 of April 2019, resulting in the tragic loss of over 250 lives and the injury of many more. Targeting worshippers, families, workers, and holiday makers on a day celebrated by Christians around the world as well as Sri Lankans of all faiths in cowardly, are cowardly and despicable. These attacks have ignited fear among communities in Sri Lanka, a country still grappling with the deep wounds inflicted by three decades, decades of civil war. Against this backdrop, I was deeply moved by the images of Sri Lankans, Buddhist, Christians, Hindu, Muslim, Sinhalese, Tamil, and others donating blood to treat survivors. Mosques and temples have opened their doors to Christian services. That is an inspiring expression of courage and resilience, of unity. It is imperative that the international community stands with Sri Lanka at this challenging time and keeps its promises to support lasting peace and reconciliation. Excellencies and dear friends, it is devastating that we are here again this morning to reflect on tragic events barely a month after the General Assembly adopted Resolution 73-285 on combating terrorism and other acts of violence based on religion or belief. Since then, there have been attacks against churches mosques and synagogues in several other countries too. I hope that we can use today's commemoration to express our solidarity with Sri Lanka first and foremost, but also to strengthen our resolve to combat violent extremism. We must increase multilateral cooperation on security. We must tackle the financing of terrorism. We must ensure that new and evolving technologies promote and do not harm human security. While protecting freedom of expression, we must also find ways to address incitement to violence through traditional and social media. It is sobering that the theme of World Press Freedom Day today is journalism in times of disinformation. Above all, we must work together to tackle the root causes of extremism. We must find ways not only to promote tolerance, but to foster understanding, kindness, empathy, and compassion. No one should feel they have so little to lose or feel so alienated from political processes that murder holds more appeal than conversation and dialogue. Excellencies, as we remember the victims of the Easter Sunday attacks, Sri Lankans of all backgrounds and nationals of over 15 countries 
let us send a strong message today. The international community stands together in the fight against extremism and violence in all its forms. We, we reaffirm our commitment to the rule of law, to multilateralism, and to the values of peace, development, and human rights for all. We are united in embracing our common humanity. Istuti Nandri. Thank you.